Well, the Yankees lineup, best in the American League all regular season, woke up in game four. Here it is for game five. Torres, Soto, and Judge. And then in the middle of the lineup, same look as yesterday. Chisholm bats cleanup. Stanton is five, Rizzo is six. Bottom of the order told the story yesterday. These guys drove in the first seven Yankees runs and helped them get off of the mat after they scored just seven runs the first three games. They faced Jack Flaherty, John. This guy's had a very up and down postseason. Four runs in his first start. No runs in his second start. Eight runs allowed in the championship series against the Mets, but then two runs in game one against the Yankees. His first pitch tonight is to Glaber Torres, and it's a fastball with good life for strike. Yeah, he uh, made one mistake to Stanton that cost him the two runs on his way out. Otherwise, he was flawless in the fastball success and location. If he's got Ooh. that right there, that's what you look for for Jack Flaherty. It doesn't have to be 95, but now he can spin breaking balls off of that height of that fastball. Broxon fires 0 2. There's a ball, 1 and 2. And in his two good starts, because really you can separate his four starts in this postseason into two buckets, two really good, two not very good. The two really good ones, opponents 0 for 17 against that fastball. Yeah, that's. Again, they're looking for spin, so when he throws it for strikes. Off the end of the bat here with a slider. Torres, the first out. Two really good offenses will be normalized if you can get to two strikes quickly. If you can pitch ahead, you've got a chance to keep these two offenses down. If you pitch behind, you're going to be really rolling the dice. As Juan Soto comes to the plate here, I think extra important this first inning for Jack Flaherty, John, with the Yankees bats flying high from last night. This place ready to explode again. Talk about Cole setting the tone. Flaherty's got to set one of his own. He does, and boy, did Cole do it. Highest velocity all year, by the way, for Garrett Cole in the first inning. And for Jack Flaherty, all he has to do is match. Match zero for zero. 1 0 to Soto. Outside ball two. Soto reached twice against him in game one. Hit a home run in game two. Relatively quiet, though, the last couple days. He has. He's been a little bit in between. The slower breaking ball has been getting him with two strikes. But this is what he can do. He can frustrate the pitchers. And at some point, at some point, he's got to swing 3 0 on a fastball and shock the person. That normally thinks he's going to take a walk. See if that comes right here. Is it a World Series green light? Wow. And instead, takes it three and one. I mean, he's so good that you just got to let him go. I know he's so focused on getting on base, and he's a monster at doing it. But you can't let pitchers keep throwing three-one fastballs. Takes ball four. Soto, the first base runner of the night. And Aaron Judge coming to the plate. It was Jack Flair that started his World Series struggles in game one. Yeah, he had him confused. He struck him out three times on two different breaking balls and then a fastball that cut. This is a different version. First pitch, I would imagine, will tell you a lot about Aaron Judge and tonight. Fastball driven the other way. Sleeping Giant has awoken. So Joe what are you think it told him. <laughs> I think he's back. He's on time. He took a lot of great pitches yesterday and Jack Flaherty tried to surprise him with a fastball. But Aaron Judge was ready and the fans and the team have been waiting for this great player to be unleashed. Step one. Now Jazz Chisholm. So it's the Yankees with the first inning home run here in game five and it comes from Aaron Judge. But yesterday while the rest of the lineup was exploding around him he little by little was showing signs that he was coming out of it. And connects right there for a no doubt blast the other way. 
58 during the regular season. Two over the first two rounds. First one of the World Series right here. Two and one on Chisholm. We said all series, when you're pulling off the ball and you're mechanically lost, you're not going to hit the ball. You're going to swing and miss. Now it's Chisholm. High drive. Right field. Goodbye. Back in the first inning, Judge and Jag. When you stay on the ball and go to right field, this park was made for a lot of Yankee hitters. And he did it perfectly. As a hitter, you have to feel it, you have to see it, and when they happen, you can get out of a slump quickly. And now Stanton. Provided the lone blemish on Flaherty game one, hitting a two run home run off a curveball. The Yankees hit three home runs the first three games. They've got five the last nine innings. Well, Stanton was out early on the curveball machine, and I mean tracking him and swinging at him. He was hitting balls to right field like a left handed pull hitter. Jack Flaherty after giving up just two runs over five and a third in game one has given up three here in the first. 3-0 to Stanton is a strike Ooh. and it's three and one. Yeah, much of this place still standing. Yankees have kept on believing. And this fan base, this crowd has helped lift him up. On a payoff, Stanton breaks it to center field. Hernandez twists around, stumbles, recovers, and makes the catch with a smile on his face. What an adventure that was for the second out. Back to the Chisholm homer, John. Jazz is a good middle down fastball hitter. That's exactly where he got it. He has been swinging so big and over the top of fastballs that this jolt yesterday has sent this lineup more comfortable. It's hard to explain in baseball, but stuff like that happens, and everyone starts feeling a little bit better, even about themselves. Two outs and Rizzo takes downstairs ball one. Rizzo singled against Flaherty in game one and in his career 435 against Flaherty three home runs. A lot of that coming when they're both in the central Rizzo with the Cubs Flaherty with the Cardinals. Dave Roberts already getting that bullpen going. It's going to be one of the storylines in this game to watch how soon did Dave Roberts act with a fully loaded bullpen not wanting this series to go back to Los Angeles. I can understand the first pitch fastball to judge. You know why because they've been spinning and spinning and he took some good looks at it. But judge was absolutely ready for it. He didn't miss it. And you said it Aaron Boone has said he thinks it's a timing thing if he gets that foot down on time. The ball's going to fly, and when that begins to happen, mentally, he feels like there's nobody in the world that can get him. That's right. I mean, things, when they start happening slower for great players, that's when they don't even, they don't even flinch. And we hadn't seen him go to right field at all. So you know he was working on it.
One of his staples in this ballpark. He'll hit his fair share of titanic blast to the pole side, but he also loves sending him that way. 3 2 from Flaherty. Rizzo Ooh. takes strike three. That's the inning, but what an inning it was for the Yankees. Cole goes 1 2 3 in the top of the first. Judge and Chisholm go deep in the bottom of the first. Trying to fight off winter one more day, trying to send this series to the West Coast and off to a roaring start.